Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hello, my name's Caitlin. Please subscribe, it would mean a lot. Uh, today we're doing something that breaks my heart a little bit. Today is the makeup I wish I could love but I just don't. For whatever reason they don't work for me and it just breaks my heart because I don't know, I may have paid a lot of money for them or I may just really want to love them. And uh, ignore my makeup. I'm sweating right now. <laughs> and I just kind of chuck something on my face. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about I actually threw away because I hated it. Uh, that is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Oh my God. How that mascara came to be like the number one mascara in America, I will never know. I bought into the hype of this, I was like, everyone's talking about the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, I need it, I need to buy it. It was my first and only high-end mascara purchase. I mean, I've bought Benefit ones, but just the minis, so I don't think that counts. <laughs> it was £18. £18 for a mascara, which is mind-boggling to me, like, okay, but I bought it and I was expecting to have the most beautiful lashes in the world and for the first hour I did and I was like wow I love this mascara I hyped it up so much because I paid so much for it and I was just putting it into my head that this was the best mascara in the world uh, and for the first as I said for the first hour it was amazing uh, and then I went on a workshop a 12 hour workshop and I came home with black dots all under my eyes. I paid £18 for a mascara that flaked off my eyes after a few hours. So I saw a YouTube video, someone said, oh, I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Like, yeah, it flakes, but you know, uh, hun, you're paying £18 for a mascara. I have two £3 mascaras that stay in place all day and I kicked myself. I wish I could love it because that was expensive. Don't buy high-end mascaras, buy a drugstore. So the next thing that I wish I could love but just can't is the Conspiracy Palette by Jeffree Star. Now I adored this when it first came out. I bought it, I did a review on my channel. I mean look at it, it is so pretty. But every time I go to use this I just feel bad because the guilt of everything that Jeffree Star has done I feel like using his palettes I'm somehow supporting him in one way and yeah I have supported him because I bought this but I feel like even if I use this on my eyes I'm still supporting him I just have a really icky feeling about it Um I think what I'm gonna do is use this off camera uh, I may film in it but not have my eyeshadow be the focal point, like this video for example. I'm using a whole mix of palettes on my eyes today. Uh, this isn't the best eye look I've ever done in the world, but move past it, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, this palette is a beautiful palette, but I just, I can't bring myself to use it and not feel bad. Um, there's just, there's just something in me. I, I can't. <laughs> The next product is the Revolution Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. This is another one I bought into the hype and um... Okay, why did that look really good? The only way to get pigment out of this, out of my one anyway, is to press down really hard. So I do my eyeliner very faintly and I like do it faintly. <laughs> but this I, I can't get... Why is it working now? You can kind of see here, I don't know if you can see here, I've been swatching lipsticks, but this is what I get. This is black, and then this is what I get when I use it with the pressure I would normally do with my eyeliner. So you can see that was quite grey and quite muted down. The pigment just isn't there. It's almost like the pigment is at the base of the pen and no pigment is at the tip. I have so many better affordable eyeliners, so... So the next two things are part of a collection that I rave about on my channel. So these are the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colours. These are the shades Infatuation and Flirtation. These two are the only two shades in the entire collection that are subpar. 
So we'll start with Infatuation. This is the dark brownie purple colour. Because this is such a dark colour, it comes on the lips very patchy. Um, you have to build it up and the more you build it up, the kind of more it gets a little bit, mm, a little bit patchy. Uh, the colour just isn't great. You definitely need something on underneath this for the colour to show through, which isn't ideal. And that is why I wish I could love it. I just don't. And Flirtation is a very thick formula. I don't know why, but uh, it's like a bright orangey kind of colour. It's very thick. And when you put it on, it's just so thick. You have the line in your lip. You kind of understand what I mean. And it just looks thick and heavy and goopy. Uh, so yeah, these are the only two in the whole line that I wish with my whole heart that I could love, but I just don't. So the next thing I got in a glossy box, this is the Sleek Highlighting Palette in Copper Plate. So, I mean, just look at it. It's, it is beautiful, but it is way, way too dark for me. Even this lightest shade here is so dark. And I put on my glossy box kind of questionnaire that I do have very pale skin. And they still sent me, this. they sent me two of these actually. This and another one in a different colour. And they're both too dark for me so I can't wear any of them. <laughs> but the actual formula in these are absolutely amazing. Like I gave them a bit of a swatch. I'll probably put them in my kit. Um, but for me, I really, I can't get any use out of them because they just look really stupid on me. I've moaned about this next product so much. Uh, this is the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation. I I don't understand how people can get this to work. I don't think I do my foundation any different to anyone else, but um, for some reason this just does not like me. Anything that I put on top of this foundation, the foundation just wants to come off and just like ball up and patch up. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong with this, but I'm doing something wrong because this is just... It's not it. It's really not it for me anyway. And like the applicator is a squeezy tube. I just, I never reach for this, but I wish I loved it because it was expensive. It's like 30 odd pound and I wish I had that money back. So these are another thing that I've raved about on my channel. The, um, the Colourpop lippy sticks. And don't get me wrong, I love the Colourpop lippy sticks, but the Matte X formula I think they do cream, satin, matte, and then matte X. Uh, I love the cream, I love the satin, I love the matte, but the matte X is so drying on my lips. I do have very sensitive lips, so that just could be me, but I, all of the matte X shades just really dry out my lips, and I don't want to get rid of them because they're a collection and I have all of them, but yeah, I really have to moisturise my lips and then put a gloss on over the top of these to make these work and to make these wearable. It's just extra work and for that reason I always reach for other products and never these. <laughs> but yeah, I wish these worked because I love the Colourpop lippy sticks so much but everything can't work for everyone. So the final product is this. This is the Figs and Rogue glow elixir. Now this, when you first put it on the skin, is so beautiful. This just gives a sheen to the skin. It's not too glittery, but it's not too subtle. So beautiful. However, as soon as you put foundation over it, it just breaks up the foundation. This I used as a primer because it is slightly tacky on the skin, and I just assumed that it was a primer. Maybe it's not. Uh, because it just breaks up all the foundation on your face. I looked in my mirror when I used this after about three hours and all on my chin was just broken up. My forehead was starting to break up. This does ball up as well. So if you're using a brush to buff in your foundation, you'll get little balls of this <laughs> dried up on your face. It's just, yeah, it's not good. So I guess this is supposed to be used like on its own, just without any makeup on, but I I could have sworn this was a primer. <laughs> yeah, I just read this. It says, allow to dry before applying makeup. So, 
care to explain? Uh, I'm very confused right now. Uh, don't use this with makeup unless you hate your makeup and want it to come off within three hours. So yeah, that was my video today guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I I wish I could enjoy these products, but for some reason or another, I just can't. <laughs> so I didn't address this in my last video, which was a cover video of the waitress song, She Used To Be Mine. You should definitely go check that out. But I did miss an upload on Friday. Uh, I just wanted to get my head straight a little bit. Um, I do currently upload three times a week, which is quite a lot. Uh, a lot of work goes into this. And yeah, I, I just needed a bit of a break, a bit of a poof, step away. <laughs> There's a lot of things happening in my life right now, my family life. A lot of you know that I am moving house in just over a month uh, on my own. I'm moving out, so that's scary. <laughs> so if I miss an upload here and there, I'm really, really sorry. Just bear with me, guys. Uh, in a month, I'm sure it will all come back to normal. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. As I said, I do upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, if all goes well. <laughs> and I will be back next time for another video. Bye, guys.